afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining our recruitment brand builder. My name is Michelle Harlambopoulos, and I am the Dallas Fort Worth Marketing Manager out front. I'll be moderating today's event. Today, we'll share the strategies used by both staffing agencies and in house recruiters on bringing in the most qualified applicants. You'll learn how they utilize out of home advertising to drive business awareness, trust, and interaction with prospective hirees. We've assembled an amazing panel for today's discussion. Outfront marketing specialist Sarah Moon will address how and why out of home works for the recruitment category. And our VP of Creative, Eddie Hurdy, will share some inspiring examples of the category's best ad creative. We are honored to have a top advertiser join us today. We have Stephanie Syrek, media buyer from Amazon Workforce Staffing. They focus on hiring for the warehouse needs to share her experience with out of home and out front media. I wanna thank each of them for taking the time to share their expertise with all of you. And I wanna thank you, our audience as well. If you have any questions for our panelists, please feel free to use the Q&A box at the bottom of your screen and we'll answer as many questions as we have time for at the conclusion of our advertising discussion. And with that, I will hand it off to Sarah. Thanks so much, Michelle. Hi, everyone. As Michelle mentioned, my name is Sarah Moon, and I'm the marketing specialist in Los Angeles. And today we're going to explore consumer behavior, industry trends, and what its evolution means for brands like yours. Then we'll talk about how and why out of home drives results for the recruitment industry. After that, in one of our favorite parts of the presentation, we'll showcase some of the most effective and impactful creative examples from brands like yours. Then we'll roll right into a roundtable discussion with our group of panelists and their experience with advertising through out of home. And to wrap it up, we'll close it out with questions from the audience. Let's kick it off with how you can use out of home advertising to target your desired audiences. Starting with the state of the job market in 2022. Although the job market made a remarkable recovery from the blows caused by the pandemic, consumers and businesses are still concerned about the broader health of the economy due to things like inflation, rising interest rates, and recession worries. Surveys are showing that 60% of job seekers feel more urgency to find a job now before market conditions change. And there are great resignation regrets. Nearly 48 million Americans quit their jobs in 2021, and now some are beginning to question and reconsider whether it was the right move. 26% of workers who quit their previous jobs say they regret the decision. And lastly, on retirements are on the rise. The pandemic forced more than 2 million premature retirements and we're seeing many of those retirees returning to work. While 48% are returning due to financial concerns, many are also returning due to personal reasons and stating that they're simply just looking for something to do. Americans are driving more miles than ever and noticing out of home when they do. This is significant as out of home is part of the customer journey to and from work, the gym, the grocery store, and so much more. Total miles driven by Americans are up 8% year over year to a record high, and over 80% of consumers say they are noticing out of home on both highways and local roads. 70% of consumers also notice and comment, and comment on out of home ads while on road trips. Now we'll shift focus and explore some of the macro trends shaping this industry right now. Let's talk about the top three recruitment industry insights. The first being to engage candidates early. Proactively engaging candidates has been a common practice for C-suite executive vacancies. However, this practice is now emerging for candidates even at the entry level. Companies must now reach out to applicants early and often as the talent pool begins to catch up with the demand for skilled labor. And next, there is a renewed focus on employee experience as workers are prioritizing work-life balance over all else, including compensation and benefits. More recruitment efforts can appeal to this demand by offering flexible work arrangements and showing an investment in wellness and mental health offerings. And last but certainly not least, a focus on diversity, equity, and inclusion is a crucial part of recruitment as the younger and more aware workforce now emphasize these initiatives when searching for jobs. Consumer priorities are evolving and candidate experience has become the cornerstone in the recruitment process. So what exactly does that entail? Access to information is a key component for job seekers. So clarity and transparency in the recruitment process is crucial to attract candidates. This means having a clearly articulated employee value proposition, transparency regarding flexible work arrangements and offering insight into compensation. 
Research shows that outdated recruiting technology is a huge turnoff for job seekers, especially Gen Z, with 54% saying they would not complete a job application if they felt recruiting methods were outdated. Lastly, candidates are paying close attention to how recruiters and companies are reflecting their company culture through their branding. Job seekers are now looking for businesses that take a more ambitious role in society, with 61% of candidates choosing an employer based on their beliefs and values. Now let's move on to recruitment marketing challenges and how out of home can meet these challenges head on. 16% of companies say they are unable to find diverse talent. Meanwhile, there are 5.4 million people searching for jobs in 2022. At its heart, out of home is a location-based medium and with over 500,000 canvases, Outfront can integrate into communities and execute targeted messaging by demographic. 15% of companies aren't set up to measure the effectiveness of their marketing efforts. Outfront offers multiple solutions to measure success, whether it's through the use of digital integration, adding QR codes, or utilizing our scalable attribution model to meet different business needs. Lastly, 14% of businesses say they are not able to identify their target audience. Out of home is the most visible medium in America and dynamic digital out of home provides the flexibility and context to, updating mess to update messaging in near real time, allowing brands to use different communication strategies to target different audiences. So let's look at a few trends we're seeing on out of home for the recruitment category. Starting with location, targeted location-based creatives made a strong presence with boards that entice job seekers through clever placement. This Build Better campaign, which was a recruitment effort for carpenters, not only played on contextual relevance, but also leveraged location by placing their creative next to an actual new build site. You really can't get any closer than that. Next up, rising from the forgotten technology ashes are QR codes, and they have been adopted into the recruitment category. Recruiters are combining QR codes with out-of-home advertising to create a quick and frictionless job application experience, both which are qualities candidates consider crucial in their decision making. Lastly, transparency has been a huge impactful, has been hugely impactful with their companies and recruiters displaying wages, benefits, and perks on their creatives. Let's move into how and why out-of-home gets results. While the lines between our digital, virtual, and physical lives continue to blur, we are seeing digital burnout and fatigue on the rise. 63% of consumers are feeling the effects of digital burnout, and even more, 75% are skipping ads altogether, making it harder for advertisers to break through digitally. On top of that, over a third of consumers are actively trying to decrease their screen time. Based off these media trends, it's clear audiences are ready to spend less time in front of screens and more time engaging in real life experiences outside of the home. Out of home is seeing heightened awareness, a rise in trust, and increased ability to drive action. 77% of consumers have an increased awareness of their physical surroundings now versus pre-pandemic. 58% of consumers consider out of home to be the most trustworthy medium, and 80% make a purchase after seeing an out of home ad for a product or service. Here at Outfront, we are the most visible media platform in the US, reaching 70% of the population weekly with a powerful platform of 651,000 plus assets across the country. Out of home is woven into the fabric of communities. It's always on and has the power to steer public discourse with immense cultural impact. Our mission is to deliver impactful and engaging interactions with audiences as they live their lives. This is achieved through what we call TLC, utilizing sophisticated technology to increase consumer engagement, to targeting audiences where they are, have been, and will be, and using big, bold, and beautiful creative to really drive home your message. And I will now pass it over to our Outfront Studios Vice President, Eddie Hurdy, to walk us through examples of best-in-class industry creative. So studios, uh, we like to call ourselves your out-of-home agency of record. Um, what that means is, you know, as you can see here, we are award-winning creative department. Uh, we have people, 51 people actually, across the country in the markets where you live and where you you do business. So what that means is we understand the the fabric of those markets, the, the, the subtleties, the way people speak to each other, and we know how to get you recognized, uh, thus the different awards. 
what does that mean uh, as far as how studios can help you? Well, we'll always be honest with you. Um, you know, you know, to put it frankly, uh, if if you've never done out of home, it's, it's definitely a different medium than doing a print ad or an online ad. Uh, sometimes that just doesn't work. Actually, a lot of times it doesn't work. So we'll be as honest with you as possible about uh, editing your creative. Um, maybe you have an idea, uh, some crazy idea. We'll let you know if it's possible. We'll get to um, a capability that's close to what you want to achieve. Um, bottom line is we really want this to work more than you do. I know that sounds crazy to say, but uh, we're, we're obsessive about out of home. You know, those 51 people across the country, uh, this, this is, you know, something they love to do. And we're here for you, right? Uh, so point two here is we're here to bounce around ideas, whether you're working uh, with an agency, whether you are an agency, uh, it's not about egos with our team. It's about getting to the best idea quickest, you know, as quickly as possible, because uh, we really want you to shine. We want people, uh, consumers, uh, to trust you and uh, get to know more about you, especially uh, when you're trying to do recruiting. And sometimes, you know, we're, we're up against crazy deadlines. We can be that extra set of hands for you. Uh, sometimes there's a cost involved in that, but. Uh, again, we just want your out of home to look great and to be done in a way that uh, can be scaled across all different mediums, which brings me to the fourth point that uh, our, our true passion is creating these campaigns from scratch, uh, getting to know you and understanding why you do what you do, uh, which brings me to our promise you know, from the studios. Whatever work we do, uh, we're always going to be doing it with purposeful intention. Our goal is to always create a meaningful connection with your brand and the pe people it was created for. Um, and with your trust, we'll have that opportunity to create authentic engagements that always leaves a lasting impression with uh, consumers and viewers, you know, if it is rooted in your true brand's purpose. Um, so how do we go about that? Discovery, 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 discovery. We want to get to know you, like I said. Uh, learn about you, really ask you this main question here. Why do you do what you do? Uh, someone asked me that a long time ago about the out-of-home industry. And I told them, this is the one industry that can screen to thousands of people while whispering to one person on a very intimate level, uh, very personal level. I, I, I don't know any other medium that does that or even comes close to the effectiveness of how out-of-home does that. So thinking about recruiting, you know, what do we know about the audience we're talking to? Um, some, some people, we just know they think their job sucks. They want out. They, they want a new career. They're, they're desperate for something new, um, which, you know, that's why they're looking. But oftentimes that's not enough uh, for us, uh, for, for a person to, to make that switch. They want to know purpose, right? You know, so something like piping, a client like piping pros, um, where, you know, it's welding and, and building uh, a lot like that build better campaign that uh, Sarah just shared. This campaign really spoke to, you know, we're not just welding stuff, but like we're building this city that this billboard is in right now. Like you can be a part of this greater vision, this greater purpose. And when this client uh, put this up, they were used to getting about 100 uh, resumes, after, you know, when they started the hiring process. Uh, Within weeks of this going up, they had 400 applicants and they actually had to take the billboard down because they've never had a response uh, quite like that. And I, I truly believe it's because, you know, we weren't necessarily saying, hey, this much money, you know, here's a list of benefits. Uh, people want to have purpose. They want to know that they matter in their job. And that's the, that's what this was communicating, that emotion. Um, so really, you know, my advice to everyone on this call is, you know, think about what you're asking of the person right and like think about you know why they'd want to step up you know the purpose the brand truth of whatever it is that's behind why you do what you do you know and those other pieces about pay and little things like that we, we have mobile we we have a, a social platform we, we have different ways that we can get that word out as far as you know the the bullet point items that we want to communicate uh, so think of out of home as that foundation of your campaign where you're integrating everything else into it. Uh, but we, we have to get that attention, right? We have to communicate and help these people understand how they will leave an impression, you know, because, you know, you, you spend more time at your job than you do with your family in these cases. And like, 
you know, damn it, like you want that to mean something, right? So we, we want to make sure that we're communicating that. Uh, so even something like, a, you know, a hospice or caregiver service, you know, I know I would be inspired to consider applying at a place where I can visibly see they're highlighting their current employees, their current employees matter, their current employees love working there. Uh, they know what why they do what they do. They enrich the daily lives of seniors, and maybe that's your passion. Maybe that's your calling. Um, you know, uh, we worked with Blue Diamond, which you know it's a national company. But when we talked to their HR team, uh, we found out like, yeah, we're, we're we're this big national name, but we're just really we have this small hometown feel, uh, and it's just a place that we all love to go to work with. And so they worked with our team out in Sacramento to create this campaign that they posted. And, um, you know, very simple message, right? You'll, you'll love your job or you'll go nuts over your job, however you want to interpret that. Uh, and then one of the benefits, you know, using digital, we're able to do a flexible uh, messaging with digital campaign, you know, enjoy a common commute, you know, kind of punny, but uh, it, that, that also lets people know the attitude and the vibe uh, of your company, you know, that, that helps people imagine themselves working there. Um, and again, like, because this is simple, it's easy to scale across multiple mediums. Um, I don't know if any of you marketers out there have tried to take a 15 or 30 second spot and cram it on a billboard. Uh, I, I don't recommend it. That, that's a tough thing to do. It's, it's a lot easier to boil that message down to one simple, powerful message that embodies that brand's truth, everything that you're hoping for in an employee, the, the values and morals that they have. Uh, boil it down to that, then scale it everywhere else. And uh, the, the last two things I'd mention to y'all is, um, you know, the, the simple stat, right? Like no one's ever been inspired by a boring ad. Um, and when it comes to recruiting, uh, you don't want to be viewed as boring. You want to be viewed as, you know, this innovative, this thoughtful, this compassionate, what, whatever the your brand attribute words are, you want to be viewed as that. So don't make it boring and really consider and think about why are you there, right? You personally, and that would be a great place for out front, you know, me and my team at Outfront Studios to start our conversation if you need help creating a campaign. Great, thank you so much, Eddie. Um, next, we're going to speak with Stephanie Syrek from Amazon. We are so thankful to have you on the call today. Uh, we have a few questions um, that we hope we can discuss with you. So when deciding on their media mix, what factors does Amazon consider? Yes, yeah, so media is typically deployed uh, to support high labor orders for the warehouse sites. Um, speaking on behalf of the traditional channels, we really look to deploy high reach, low cost per thousand mediums like out of home. Okay, so in general, what level of return on investment is Amazon looking for when they execute their campaigns? So as we look to really drive that top of funnel awareness, uh, we're focused on site visits and engagement. Uh, we're looking for what is gonna reach the most people and therefore hopefully translate that to more applications. Great. So in terms of like reaching people, how would you say that Amazon chooses the areas in which it advertises? So again, our focus is supporting those uh, warehouse sites across the country. Um, so we utilize internal data to really understand the commute tolerance around those sites, um, and then the application yields by zip codes. Thank you. Um, how would you say that out of home advertising has impacted the hiring process for Amazon? So with the low CPM, um, it drives a lot of awareness, we have huge reach, um, and it also provides that message flexibility as it allows for rotation of different messages, something that we have definitely utilized. Um, and again, you know, with that high reach, a lot of times we hear, oh, we saw that billboard, and we just, we love hearing that from the communities. Mm -hmm. Great. Um, so we understand that your advice are primarily digital. Can you please elaborate on why Amazon tends to rely on digital out of home? So something that uh, I'll keep reiterating because it's great. It's, you know, digital out of home, it's high impact, 
Um, it's high reach, it's low CPM, and it requires no subscription. Um, it doesn't cost any additional to the potential candidates. Um, it can rotate again those multiple messages and it even can do the day parting. Uh, so it really offers the flexibility that we need in this type of industry. And when it comes to creative, what is the most important for your campaigns? Are there messages that you find resonate more than others? So piquing someone's interest in seven words or less is ideal. <laughs> um, drawing attention with color, um, understanding backgrounds, different times of the day, and kind of how that can work with color as well. Um, and as far as understanding what resonates uh, tr and trying to implement that into limited copy on a board, um, trying to hit those main points, uh, bonuses and wages, well, that always garners a lot of attention we've seen in the past. I can understand that. <laughs> <laughs> Does Amazon integrate its out of home with other marketing channels? And if so, which ones and why? We think that out of home really complements radio um, when it's reaching our candidates while they are traveling to and from their jobs. Great. Um, well, we have some uh, questions that have been submitted by some of our viewers today, so I'm going to kind of dive into those. Um, Stephanie, I'll start with you. It says, what advice do you have for recruiters looking to dive into out of home? Oh, advice for recruiters diving into out of home. Um, you know, out of home, again, because of its high reach, but also its um, ability to uh, target geographically, um, that's a great option when you can understand who your target audience is, um, maybe where those, um, you know, application, whatever internal data can be used to really be able to hone in and create a radius, and then look at the inventory and understand um, exactly what you're trying to accomplish from a business perspective, and try to relay that into your campaign and be um, as targeted or as, you know, general as possible. Mm -hmm. We have another one for you. Very popular today. <laughs> You're like, Stephanie. Um, what is the typical radius you target around a warehouse? Um, and you mentioned uh, the commute, like what's the standard commute time? Yeah, so all of that is going to vary on the market. Um, there isn't any set radius that we indicate. Uh, we really look at that internal data to help inform us on that. And again, it's really just going to be, it's going to vary uh, market to market. Um, and uh, the second part of that question was, what was that again? What's the standard commute time? Standard. Again, that too is going to depend. Um, in some rural markets, you may see because it's it's further out, uh, people are willing to commute more than something that's more um, metro. Um, so you'll see those variances, but again, it varies market to market. Thank you. Um, so this one, I would kind of direct between Eddie and Sarah, but it says, what are the ways that out front can help me reach my target audience? And I say between the two of you, because obviously creative is super important in that. Yeah. Eddie, you can go first. Yeah, yeah I'll jump. Um, yeah. So that, that discovery conversation, right. Um, you know, a lot of times I'll get that, you know, Hey, we want to reach men 18 to 35, whatever, um, you know, being a child of the 80s, I think of Mr. T, Zach Morris from Saved by the Bell, you know, maybe Queer Guy, queer eye, guy for, the, uh, for the Straight Guy. Like those are three men that are 18 to 35 that don't really have a lot in common. So I don't I don't really like those answers. I, I, I want to have that discovery conversation with people to understand why they work there. And if we can understand that, we can attract other like-minded people to that industry, to that that job, that role. And I think that, you know, speaks to the the passion points and, you know, again, why people do what they do. Uh, that's the good stuff. That's going to be the campaign that stands out over um, just the typical bullet points that you think a man 18 to 35 would like. Yeah. And Sarah, um, I, I'll jump in just on, on the marketing team with you. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, we have a lot of great assets. Um, you know, we have our internal programs like Smart Scout mm -hmm. that will help us uh, figure out which um, units and, uh, you know, walls or digital will actually reach that target audience that they, they've kind of identified. So we've got, you know, a lot of internal resources to pull from. So I think that's something that makes out front stand out um, compared to our competition. So. Exactly. Yeah. 
not only just location based with over 500,000 canvases, but you know the fact that we do have this syndicated research and geospatial data and um, even mobile data to help find people in real life. I think it's just to start that conversation and narrow down based off of um, objectives, the brand's objectives. Mm -hmm. You know what we're doing out here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the next question is, why is it important for well-established employers to have a continued presence on out of home? Uh, just from my personal perspective and kind of part of why I love this industry is out of home is a communal base, right? It's it's a part of your community and kind of the, the town crier, right? So when you have an active presence and out of home, uh, there's no avoiding that. Uh, it's showing that you're responding, uh, especially on the digital side of things, in a very timely manner to the community situations, whatever is going on. Um, you you kind of have a, a finger on the pulse, and that to me is invaluable, right? That that repetition, that recognition, that the you, you are a name in that community, um, and you are a part of what's keeping that community alive. Uh, that speaks volumes. Mm -hmm. And I can piggyback off of. Um... Eddie, just a little bit there, just like he was saying, I feel like right now, um, just with the environment where people are demanding so much transparency of their company and values as well, I think it's invaluable to have this continued presence and out of home, you know, just happens to be the most trustworthy medium. So I think it also adds that layer of brand safety as well. And, and when you're talking about recruiting, like it's, you know, I'm sure we all have that relative that like you only hear from them when they need something that always kind of sucks and you kind of puts a bad taste in your mouth. Whereas if you're part of that community, you're always there, you're, you know, whether it's being silly and having fun or serious, whatever, um, I think that says a lot and you're just the trust level is there and they're more willing to join your fight, your issue, uh, if you've been there the whole time. Mm -hmm. And Stephanie, this one's for you. This is how, um, do you ask, how did you hear, are we hiring and get feedback about the out of home boards? So is that a question that you guys ask when people come in for your interviewing in the process? We don't. We don't have a standard process of trying to understand that kind of last touch attribution. Um, but in uh, previous uh, previous lives, <laughs> we that's something that has been asked before. Um, where if, you know, if someone is going to fill out a form on the website, there will be a, you know, how did you hear about us question and give the options of the mediums that you know are running um, to see a lot. That can always be tricky because a lot of times it's just whatever the person saw most recently is what they'll record. Um, so you kind of have to take that with a grain of salt. Um, but um, yeah, it's, it's either it's doing that or also YouTube. Uh, surveys are something that have also been used, but again, just keeping in mind, sometimes it's whatever that person saw last is what they will vote for. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then this one kind of piggybacks off that one, but I think more directed towards Sarah is how would you measure the effectiveness if there is no direct call to action on a billboard? Um, that's a great question. Um, Outfront does offer um, a great comprehensive stack of attribution solutions as well. Um, so our attribution solution measures behavior after a consumer is exposed to an out-of-home campaign. And that stack is extensive. It, it includes footfall measurement. It includes um, website visitation. There's sales lift, return on ad spend solution. Um, I think there's impact surveys as well. I might, I might have missed some. Um, so we do have a number of tools. I think, um, again, it would just be starting that conversation and just narrowing down um, based off what makes the most sense for the campaign. Thank you. Um, and then, let's see. Um, Stephanie, how has Out of Home impacted the success of the Amazon brand? Um, I don't want to speak for the Amazon brand itself, but uh, for our efforts specifically, uh, we do see impact um, as we're running other channels as well, you know, with radio at the same time in certain instances, it can be just a little difficult to isolate that individual impact. But we do know that if, um, you know, if digital is put forth first and it's not filling, once we turn on additional channels like out of home, um, it then does give us that market lift because we are able to reach additional people. Um, and uh, we, you know, we're still trying to figure out the testing for that to get, you know, some 
actual data around it, but um, we do see at least the market lift itself happen when those deploy. Good, thank you. And then one final question for you today. What has been your favorite part about working with Outfront? Oh, um, we we love all of our out of home vendors. We cannot show favoritism for anybody specifically, um, but um, you know, I would say our 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 vendor, our reps are great. Um, they are, you know, we don't we we're very quick with our process. Um, and because we're helping across a national footprint, um, our vendors have been very nimble and work with us very well to get us uh, what we need quickly. So we always appreciate that. Good. Glad we can help you. Well, that is about all the time that we have today, but I really do want to thank Stephanie, Sarah, and Eddie for their time and their expertise today. We hope that you all enjoyed this um, conversation. And again, we will send out um, a copy of the recording to each of you that have signed out. It will also be available on our content hub on outfront.com. Thank, Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thanks,